time we're going to learn. All right. On this problem, it says 16 minus 1 fourth x squared. So what we need to do is it's, saying, it's asking us to graph the problem, and it's also telling us to find the vertex and the y-intercepts. So there's a couple things we're going to do for every one of these problems. You just need to follow kind of a step-by-step -step process. First thing we want to do is we want to put it in our standard form. All right, because by putting it in our standard form, that's going to give us the easiest way to find the vertex. So first thing I need to do is I need to put it looking like this form. So I'm going to show you one uh, the way that you can kind of look at it. First thing is we need to put our x squared in front of our constant. So I'm going to write f of x equals uh, negative 1 fourth x. And you know, for this video and for you guys, I'm just going to show it x minus 0 squared. Really, you know, x minus 0 is just x, and that gives you x squared. But I'm going to represent, I'm going to show you the zeros just so you guys can see how that comes, how that plays with the vertex. Plus 16. All right, so now I have transformed this equation into our standard form equation. And the reason why that's so important is because from a standard form, you can determine what the vertex is. Where the vertex is h comma k. Yes. Okay, so why do you have to write like parentheses like x minus zero? You don't. The only reason why I'm doing this, if you did this, like x squared, that's perfectly fine. I'm the only reason why I'm doing this is just because this is introductory to the first time looking at it. I'm just showing you this. I think that's more confusing than like instead of actually writing the formula how it is. Okay. So. Well, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I want you to see that. Your vertex, what is your h? Zero. So when I'm asking for what is the vertex, you'll be able to see your vertex is equal to zero, and then your k is 16. All right? So the only reason why I'm just showing you is just so you can see, well, there's nothing I'm subtracting really by except for zero. So that's where I'm getting the zero and the 16, OK? I'm not going to really do this anymore. I just want to see so people see where that zero comes from, all right? Um, so now we have the vertex. Does everybody see where the vertex comes from, what came from? All right, it's just your h and your k of your formula. And if you don't have your, your h k, you can show it by represent, you know, represent it that way. Then the next thing is we need to determine what are the y-intercepts, I'm sorry, the x-intercepts. So um, on a graph, real quick, when you have your x-intercepts, remember our value of y is equal to zero, right? y equals zero for those two points. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to determine um, for a function, our y value is the same thing as our f of x value. So one thing, when you want to find the x-intercepts, we know that our f of x, which is our output value, is going to equal zero, which is the same thing as you know y equals zero. Richard? Like way. Like all the way. No, 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 like in your back. So we have to find out our x-intercept, which is f of x equals 0 in your back, please. So um, what we need to do is we need to write our equation with f of x equals 0. So 0 equals a negative 1 fourth x squared uh, plus 16. And then from here, guys, what we need to do is we need to determine what are our values of x going to be. So what we need to do is we need to solve for x, right? We need to find the values of x when our function is equal to 0. So I subtract 16. So negative 16 equals a negative 1 fourth x squared divided by a negative 1 fourth. All right, and that's going to give me, I'll move this over here. Negative 16 divided by negative 1 fourth is going to give me a positive 64. Wait, wait, how equals do you, x squared. How do you do that? How do I do what? I thought you could divide by a fraction. You can't divide by a fraction. You're right. So if I have negative 16 divided by negative 1 fourth, that's the same thing as negative 16 multiplied by negative 4 over 1. Negative 16 times negative 4 is 64. <coughs> Positive 64, 1 times 1 is 1. So, right, we don't divide by fractions. What we do is you can multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction. Yes? So you can just multiply negative 1 fourth 
No, no, you absolutely, that's an absolutely another way you could have done it. If you want to just, if you oh, yeah, see this effect, yeah, it's the exact same thing. Okay. If you want to see that, you just want to multiply by negative four on both sides, you absolutely could have done that as well. Okay. Um, so now we have x squared equals 64. To get rid of the root, you take the square root. And therefore I have plus or minus eight, because remember whenever you take a root of a number, you're going to have plus or minus eight equals x. So therefore our two intercepts are going to be oh. eight comma zero and negative eight comma zero. Okay. So now what we have is we have three points that we can use to graph this. We have negative, we have negative eight and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have our vertex, which is at 0, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So if I make a dot there for my vertex, I have a dot for my two y-intercepts, and all I really need to do is connect these two. And then what I've created is my graph. So here's my vertex, 0, 16. And there's my two x-intercepts. All right, so when given an equation or a function, first thing you want to do is make sure you put it in your vertex for standard form, determine what the vertex is, then set your function equal to zero and solve for x to find the two x intercepts. From those three points, you guys should be able to graph your function.